Hey guys, welcome to the Rockin' Age Wood Shop. Today, it's all about the DIY. Hi, my name's April Short, and I'm a boomer. Boom! Well, hey guys, welcome to the Rockin' Age Wood Shop. Uh, today's gonna be something special. I've got my wife, April, here that's going to help us out with a simple DIY project that will help get people ready for the Christmas season. Now, what we're going to make isn't exactly uh, winter related, uh, but it will make a good Christmas gift idea for somebody that's special in your family. So April, what are we going to make today? I'm gonna take some old plates, bowls, and spoons that I found at antique stores, thrift stores, and flea markets, put them together to make flowers. Very cool, and what would we use for these flowers? I'm going to put them in the garden, in the flower beds. People um, sometimes use them in their homes as well, but for my purposes, they're going to be in a flower bed. I also have made one for my mom in the past that she keeps in her flower bed. All right, now the project is very, very simple. Uh, it's very limited on supplies, so here's what you'll need. Okay, so for the project, you need several plates. Start with a larger one. This is approximately 10 inches or so. A medium-sized plate and it's about six inches and then your small one is about four. You also will need a spoon, some electrical conduit. This one is very long. We'll cut it in half and that'll make me two stakes and then some JB Weld epoxy is what I'm using today. Any epoxy that will adhere for glass would work. The idea is to have many layers for your flower you could have three, you could have two, four, six, however many you want. For instance, this one has a bowl instead of a small plate, but it's still three layers for this one. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my epoxy and use the mixing tray that it came with. Mix it up in equal parts, do a good job of that, and start putting the plates together. So I've got my three plates glued together but I want to put some weight on them and set them aside so that they will glue nice and strong. So I'm going to set Drew's handy dead blow mallet on there. While that's sitting and drying, I'm going to take the spoon and we're going to flatten it out a little bit so it has more to grip on the back of the plate. So for that, we're using Drew's vise. Now what we need to do is take the sledge with the spoon in the vise and bend the spoon over. So Drew's going to cut the electrical conduit in half for me. I'm having him cut a slight angle so it's a little bit of a point so it's a little easier to get into the ground. Okay, so now that the spoon is ready, I'm gonna use some more epoxy and get it stuck to the back of the plate and that's what the hanger is going to be. Uh, we have discussed that some epoxies are better than others, and uh, we have had instances in the past where some just did not hold up and the dishes basically came apart. Uh, so do your homework on what works best. Um, this one in particular holds 4,400 pounds per square inch, so we figured that's all, that should be enough. <laughs> uh, babe, what are the, some, of the, some of the things that you have come in contact with in regards to the plates that we are using as to what's better and what's not? Well, I picked these plates. A, they were very cheap. I think I got them for about a dollar a piece, but they already look like a flower. The problem is on the back where I'm gluing everything, it's got a lot of a texture to it, kind of a hobnail feel. So it's making it a little bit more di difficult to get the spoon to adhere because it's not a flat surface. There's a lot of texture there. So it's taking more glue. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video that my wife and I had put together for this little DIY project. Like I said, it's going to be perfect for Christmas gifts. And because they are on these spoons that are easily uh, taken out of these poles, if you have bad weather that's pretty imminent, you can take them inside and they won't get harmed. Once the storm is over, put them back and it's good to go again. So guys, thank you for joining us. I want you to be safe in your shops. From April and myself, we want to wish you guys well. Be safe and God bless. Boom! <laughs>
Huh? But the beauty of editing is I can make this look fast. <laughs> and the lovely assistant quits. <laughs> All right, go ahead. What the hell? Yep, pick cheap ones. Don't buy expensive ones. People get mad when you glue those together. <laughs>